Now we have a very interesting question. Also you, you are a former world chess champion and um, in a few weeks there is a the chess world championship match from the um, reigning world champion Magnus Carlsen against um, the challenger Jan Nepomnici in Dubai. Yeah, what, what do you think will happen there? Do you, can you make a forecast? Well, you can only point at trends. Um, I think there was a period somewhere between last year and this year when I wouldn't say he was playing badly, but he was wobbly. You could see some weaknesses in Magnus. And then you automatically think uh, that um, uh, Jan has um, something to exploit. But overall, Magnus has made a very good impression. He's won, he won, wins all his tournaments. He uh, plays at an extremely high level. So you can't really um, say anything other than that he's the favorite. But you know, Jan will. Uh, Jan also had streaks of impressive form. He will be well prepared, and I hope it'll be an interesting match. That's all. We will look forward to this. And um, very often in chess world championship matches, there's a certain certain theme of openings, such as um, Anand versus Kramnik, and a lot of Semislav or, or Kramnik versus Kasparov, the Berlin defense, or the last world chess championship, Sveshnikov variation, Rosolimo. Yeah, do, do you know what will happen there? Also, which openings will come up on the board? On the board? I think with Jan, I'm hopeful for something chaotic. I don't know what it is, but I, I think that's Jan's um, uh, style, just chaos. So hopefully he pulls something out. It will be interest, interesting. We are looking forward to some mayhem and fireworks on the chessboard. Yes, uh, I mean, I, I think Jan will try to be well prepared. Uh, especially if 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 Leko is continues to be second, then um, uh, it'll be almost a clash, Leko's openings and Jan's openings. But hopefully they will blunder into some chaotic positions, and then we'll see. We'll have a lot of fun. You played both players um, a lot of times. Also, what's your forecast? Also, what do you think will happen there? Well, I mean, I cannot know what will happen there. Of course, Magnus is a slight favorite. Uh, he has so much experience uh, playing these World Championship matches, and well, in general, he's been the strongest player in the world uh, for a while. But uh, I do think that Jan will uh, put up um, a good challenge, uh, and you know, he will come very well prepared. So anything can happen. Okay. Also, um, do you think there are um, sharp openings will come, tactical fireworks that Jan is trying some exotic stuff? This uh, I really don't know. So we'll, we'll see because a match is very different than uh, tournament games, and you don't want to lose games. So you know, you do put pressure. You do try to put pressure, but in general, you also play it a bit safer than than in a tournament. So, but we'll see what happens. Like. Um, I'm really excited as well for the match. Um, well, I'm not very good at predicting these matches normally, but uh, I mean, I think Carson is a favorite, but uh, I mean, I don't think he's such a huge favorite because uh, yeah, Nepomachi has a big, uh, has quite a good score against Magnus in classical games. And I think that's, that's kind of very important for him to have this confidence that he scored well against him in classical chess in the past. So, uh, but uh, I think uh, still Magnus, I think, uh, is overall the strongest. I think he is a small favorite, but I think it could be quite close. Quite, quite close match. And do you think that will be, there will be tactical fireworks and very interesting ideas? Yeah, I think so. Maybe not, maybe not right at the start, but I think in general it will be a very interesting match. Maybe a couple of quiet games at the start, but I think it will get very interesting by the end, certainly. What's your forecast and what do you think will happen there? Uh, it's, it's really hard to tell for me. I mean, I, they, I have asked many questions actually, uh, you know, more than multiple times already, and I really still didn't come up with a, with a good answer. Because, you know, like, okay, Magnus is, of course, the number one player, and he's uh, extremely, I mean, you know, maybe the best player ever to play the game. Yeah? But on the other hand, Jan, I mean, I think he made some, uh, some kind of visible progress in the, in the last two years, maybe even more. And uh, in the meantime, I think he has a very good score against uh, Magnus, right? I mean, okay, you can say like it's from uh, used times, but still it, it, it should count for something. And I think he's very, very well prepared and of course really ambitious. So I think it's going to be a, a good match to watch. Yeah.
Yeah, we look forward to it. Does it? Yeah. Do you um, uh, expect some fireworks? Uh, yeah, sure. I mean, it's uh, it's very hard to define fireworks, right? Because maybe for uh, like an amateur uh, spectator, some things are really boring, and maybe for a professional player, they are like you know lots of work behind it, and it's hidden or or not hidden. It's just you know. Uh, Uh, just you know, very in exciting in a way of you know intellectual uh, way. Yeah. So we will see, but uh, I, I'm sure I will have fun watching it. Yeah. Can you make a forecast? What will happen there? So who will win this competition? Well, one forecast that I can make easily is that it will be extremely interesting. These two guys have very different styles. They're obviously the perhaps two most ambitious players in the world right now. And I have some sense of how much work goes into the preparation. And basically, we, we don't see any of this. Um, and they are trying to kind of figure out which surprises the other player will have prepared for them. And sometimes there are matches where they kind of both guess wrong and have to figure it out during the match, how to deal with the situation. And I think that's, that's extremely interesting because usually in a world championship match, Both players try to adopt new openings, new ideas uh, that they haven't used before. So they are really putting everything on the table and it usually makes for a lot of very interesting games. This will be very exciting what will happen there. Um, yeah, you, you, you say it. So every World Championship match has something like a certain theme. In the last World Championship match in London 2018, the players played a lot of Sveshnikov lines or Rosolimo variation. Yeah, do you have a clue as to which opening will um, can we expect um, this year in Dubai? If I had a very good idea on such things, I would probably be on someone's team because this insight is very valuable. I have, I have no clue actually. So I'm just as as uh, uh, curious as everyone else to see, you know, what openings they will play.